Okay, working on this old ream. Really old. I think it's from the mid 80s. And uh, just checking with my little uh, stub gauge. The pressure seemed, you know, high and low side both seemed kind of low for the conditions. So I popped the top off. Mostly to clean the coil. This side has some like corrosion on this bottom run there, but nothing going off. I'm on infrared. When I uh, popped the uh, cap off that liquid line, it went off a little bit. So that shader's leaking by a little bit, but that's only after I took the cap off. But see that bottom run down there? It's a little windy today, too. It's going off earlier. There we go. Got a nice breeze on the roof here, but it was going off a little more crazier earlier. Still getting something, so I'm on heated diode. I mean, sorry, infrared. It's gonna, it was gonna go in nuts. A little more. There we go. So that's heated diode. That's on high. Uh, let's see. Medium. Medium. It still has, you know, gas in the system. It's not like crazy low, but it's definitely low. So medium, not too much activity on the medium. Oh. There we go. I'm going to put it on uh, heated diode mode. Alright. Yeah, we're getting some activity down there. We'll spray some bubbles on it too, but it's obvious it's pretty rotted down there. So. Yeah, it's only because of the condensate rod and this debris buildup. This it probably wouldn't have uh, leaked if it didn't. If this was cleaned out, you know, if this unit was taken care of more, because there's really no other leaks besides probably that. Yeah, I like it.